So you want to start by getting yourself a shiny green shirt. I'm using a satin one that originally had horizontal ruffles on it, but I cut those off and that's what the lines are from. Mine also has an opening down the center of it with the buttons. If yours doesn't, you're going to want to cut an opening down the center. So the collar of the shirt is about the size of half a turtleneck, so if it's too high, you're just going to want to cut off the top of it. You don't want to be much more than an inch high. And then I'm just going to cut all the buttons off my shirt, and Mr. Spock is going to help me, as always. I'm going to take some sticky back Velcro, and I'm going to replace the buttons with the Velcro all the way down the front of it. And then I got some gold braiding. Mine's a little thin, it doesn't cover as much as I need to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces of the braiding and glue them next to each other so it'll look like one thick piece. You just want to glue that all the way around the collar. Just using a little hot glue, and then laying the second piece right next to the first. And so once you've gone all the way around the collar, just cut off the excess, and then you're going to do the same thing down the opening of the shirt. You just want to make sure that when you're gluing this on, you don't cover up the actual opening, otherwise you won't be able to open the shirt. You just go all the way down the front, just like that. And then Kirk also had some thin gold stripes on the shoulders, so I'm just taking some eighth inch gold ribbon here. And I'm just going to glue those over the shoulder seams. I'm just using tacky glue here in order to save my fingers from hot glue. So then you want to cut yourself 11 thin cardboard triangles, and then you're just going to paint them with glitter paint or cover them with glue and coat them with glitter. And just look at a picture to see what colors you need. Here are the finished ones, and then a few of them have extra little symbols you'll have to paint onto them. And then you just want to cut yourself an oval out of the same thin cardboard and paint it with kind of a glittery copper. And then you'll need a piece of black material and a piece of maroon material a little bit smaller, a piece of yarn, and then you'll eventually end up gluing them all together like this. To start, you just want to put your triangles, a little bit of glue on the back of your triangles, and you're just going to glue all those onto the shirt, and you're going to make that design that Kirk has, just like that. And then take your maroon ribbon, put some hot glue on the back of that, and glue it to your black ribbon, and then put a line of glue down the back of it, stick the piece of yarn on there, and then take your oval, put a line of glue down the back of that, and stick that into the yarn, so you'll have your little ribbon medallion. You just want to bend the top of it down, put a little bit of hot glue on the underside of it, and then just push it down to hold it in place, and then put a little bit more glue along the top of it, and you're just going to glue that right under the chest. And so then here is the finished Captain Kirk shirt.